holding up, Red. You're you know, doing okay. Good for no oh, come on. Uh, sitting so far back. You're a, you're a young. Here, why don't you put this behind your back? It might be better. Want to do that? Do something. I feel like I'm sitting down here with my head over. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> well, Red Fox, we did this a uh, few years ago when you were doing Sanford, and here we are, take two with Sanford. Yeah. Good, cool. to, good to see you. Thank you. I have to ask you, first of all, does Liberace know you're wearing all his jewelry? No, this is Sammy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you get it Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and he gets it other days. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. Red, you're doing Sanford. Was this something, an idea that originated with NBC and they came to you, or how? I really don't know how it came about. You know, it's, I guess, you know, they needed something tried and true. You know, so Sanford spent that. So I'm, I'm still here, so I can do Sanford as long as they want it. Were you eager to do it, or did you say, well, I don't know, I've been that route? Well, I'm very eager to do it because uh, it's my business, you know. When the money's right, you, do. you get very eager. Oh, now we're getting down to the facts. The well, money, the money. It's good. always has been that true life, hasn't it? I guess so. Well, you know, sure. And now I'm interviewing you, I'm sorry. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Uh, <laughs> but it is going to be somewhat different, isn't it? Oh, yes. It'll be without a lot of the other people that were in the show, you know, but we'll have new people and we'll try to make it as good or better. And what are the new people? How, what, how will they relate to you, the new people? Almost in the same sense that the rest of them did, you know, just be new faces, you know. But the same type of uh, thing, but only I have a wife, so I'll have to change. Maybe the wife will have a daughter. You know, so instead of a son, I'll have to contend with the things that happens when a man is a father of some daughters or a daughter, you know, which I don't have too much experience either way, not having any kids, you know. But it'll be fun. It'll be fun. I believe it'll be fun. Yeah. Are you still working in Vegas? Yes. A uh, lot? Six nights a week. I'm there now. Now I'm off on Monday. That's why I'm here. But I, I'll be there. Has your act changed much through the years? In Las Vegas? Uh -huh. Yes, it's changed. I've got bluer. <laughs> <laughs> well, that brings up a point, Red, because you pioneered the kind of humor that you do, didn't you? I think so. I think so. I don't think I pioneered. I just think I was the first to just get on out there and refuse to work unless they let me do what I thought was honest, you know? So. Uh, people started seeing that I can draw crowds. Even now, uh, at the landmark, no one for eight years has been able to turn anyone around the corner to go to the landmark until I got there. And they've had Broadway shows and everything. People just wouldn't turn the corner for that. But I have a nice uh, crowd every night of them. How many times in your career, going back to when you started doing that, how many times did you get fired? Oh, I never got fired. I always really? quit. <laughs> Even if I was fired, I'd quit. <laughs> no, but I know how club managers are. You know, they've all got a different idea about anybody's act. I don't care who it is. You know, yeah. if you sing low, they want you to sing high. Yeah, you know. well, I, I went to Las Vegas. I was in the Aladdin Hotel before they had built, built a new one here. It was a little small hotel. And I worked there. So on the opening night, the uh, entertainment director told me not to say a certain word at the beginning of my act. He said, you can't uh, put that in your act in the beginning. So next show, I put it in the middle. <laughs> so they came, took me up on the carpet, you know, for the owner. And the entertainment director told the owner, said, when I told him not to say certain words at the beginning in his act, and I told him, I said, well, I put it in the middle. So the owner said, well, how many people were there? So he said, SRO. I said, well, what are you doing up here with me? If he's got standing room only, he'd say what he wants to say, you know? And that's the attitude a club owner should have. If I'm packing a joint, the only thing is what I'm doing, you know, if I'm making bones, open the doors and I sell some tickets. So that, that's the way he thought, so I stayed at the Latin for a long time. A guy like Richard Pryor, do you think you influenced him? I'm positive I did. He worked in my nightclub on La Cienega for uh, almost a year because other places wouldn't uh, hire him, but he was doing primarily the same thing that I was doing, you know, so he drew crowds for me, you know, and we had friends, we were both Sagittarians. And so we get along swell, you know. We haven't done too many things together because he's been busy 
you know, his way, and I've been busy my way. River, stay away from my door. <laughs> Fred, if you're going out uh, to see a comedian, who would you like to go see? I like uh, Rip Taylor. Do you? That surprises me in a way. Yeah, because he's a reckless abandoned. I like that. And I like uh, Jackie Gale. I, you know, I like the guys with names, too, but there's some guys that, uh, that, that don't make it uh, really big that are really funny. Too, you know, and they continuously change their material to make it uh, worthwhile going back again. You know, where some of the guys get a little stayed and just stay right there in their materials. You know, it's a film um, after a couple, three times that you've had it. You know, I like uh, um, Jackie Gale, I think, is my favorite. What is it about him? I don't know. He just says crazy things. He said, like one joke he tells, he says, just once in my life, I'd like to see four black singers managing a gangster. You know, <laughs> you know, that's the kind of stuff I like to <laughs> Now you see what I mean? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's the kind of stuff I love. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> Didn't I just call <laughs> is, it, is it more fun to be up on a stage playing to people or doing, uh, doing television and having people come up and say, boy, I love you as Sanford, which is more gratifying? I guess from both sides, if they're happy about it, you know, it's uh, gratifying to me to know that they think of whatever I'm doing, if I've accomplished something, if I can make them have some two laughs, either way, in either direction, it doesn't matter. But uh, television is one thing, and the nightclub audience is a different thing. I've got close contact with them. But even when I record Sanford before a live audience, sometimes we would throw some lines in and then they'd have to redo it or something. Just, we hang loose, you know. I like a nice loose ship. And we did some things pretty nice. Fred, as always, it's fun to see you. Thank and you. Uh, maybe you better get back and let Sammy have his jewelry. He may have a need for it before the day yeah, is over. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, I don't go to work till the 14th. <laughs> Fred. <laughs> ah, pleasure. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. Water. That is a funny line. I've never seen Jack. You gotta see him. That's a funny line. He's the funniest guy. <laughs> I swear, I think he's my favorite. The four black singers managing a gangster. <laughs> Get you to read this All right. Anytime ready? I'm Red Fox inviting you to see Sanford right here on Channel 5.